entrance and to fun. To you I call, for you will surely heed me, O God. Turn your ear to me, hear my words. Guard me as the apple of your eye, in the shadow of your wings protect me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. The special intention for this Mass is from Miguel uh, Gonzalez. And with that in mind, let us acknowledge our sin and so prepare ourselves for this sacred miseries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you have heard of the stewardship of God's grace that was given to me for your benefit, namely that the mystery was made known to me by revelation, as I have written briefly earlier. When you read this, you can understand my insight into the mystery of Christ which was not made known to human beings in other generations and has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit. That the Gentiles are co-heirs, members of the same body, and co-partners in the promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel. Of this, I became a minister by the gift of God's grace that was granted me in accord with the exercise of his power. To me, the very least of all the holy ones, this grace was given to preach to the Gentiles the inscrutable riches of Christ and to bring to light for all what is the plan of the mystery hidden from all ages past in God who created all things so that the manifold wisdom of God might now be made known throughout the church to the principalities and authorities in the heavens. This was accord to the eternal purpose that he accomplished in Christ Jesus our Lord, in whom we have boldness of speech and confidence of access through faith in him. The word of the Lord. The Responsorial Psalm. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. God indeed is my savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he has been my savior. With joy you will draw water at the foundation of salvation. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. Give thanks to the Lord, acclaim his names. Among the nations make known his deeds. Proclaim how exalted is his name. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. Sing praise to the Lord for his glorious achievement. Let this be known throughout all the earth. Shout with exultation, O city of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Stay awake, for you do not know when the Son of Man will come. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, Be sure of this. If the master of the house had known the hour when the thief was coming, he would not have let his house be broken into. You also must be prepared, for at an hour you do not expect, the Son of Man will come. Then Peter said, Lord, is this parable meant to us, for us, or for any, everyone? And the Lord replied, Who then is the faithful and prudent stewards whom the master will put in charge of his servant to distribute the food allowed at the proper time? Plus is that servant whom his master on arrival finds doing so. Truly I say to you, he will put him in charge of all his property. But if that servant says to himself, my master is delayed in, in coming and begins the, to beat the man's servants and the maiden's servants to eat and drink and get drunk, then that servant's master will come on an uh, unexpected day as, and at an unknown hour and will punish the servants sincerely and assign him a place where, which the unfaithful, that servant who knew his master's will but did not make preparations nor act in accordance with his will shall be beaten severely. And the servants who was ignorant of his master's will but acted in a way serving of a severe beating shall be beaten only lightly. Much will be required for a person entrusted with much, and still more will be demanded of the person entrusted with more. The Gospel of the Lord. You may not know that uh, when I entered to seven, um, to um, uh, a seminary, in 20, when I was 27, I started to study all the prayer in English because I used to do everything in Vietnamese only. And then, um, and then I remember when I, before I, um, uh, I ordained, I used to remember the, uh, uh, the Gloria and the Greece uh, word by word. Unfortunately, after that, six months, um, about 10 months later, they chant the version, and they chant some word in that, um, that Greece and Gloria. And I am the virtual, virtual person who only remember word by word, so I'm just messing up all the time. And that's the reason why I did not remember word by word of the Greek and the Gloria up to now in English. I only can do in Vietnamese. So, but then I always try my best to, um, to memorize everything that I can and as much as I can. So um, that's something that I just wonder about the children right now when many of them don't even know how to pray. Sometimes just surprised when, uh, I'm surprised when they don't even know how to say an Our Father or the Hail Mary. Sometimes just surprised, surprised when they don't even know the Ten Commandments and the Seven Sacraments. Because when we was, um, when we was in Vietnam before, all of us, before receiving the First Communion, supposed to remember all of them, word by word. So we need to learn and we need to teach our children some basic prayer because when they, when they struggle or when they need to pray, they know, they know at least something so that they can mumble in their word, so that whenever they have a chance, they can go back and reflect on the words of each prayer and continue to learn how rich, um, how richful is those, um, those prayers. If, because if we're not going to start from the beginning, if we're not going to practice how to learn how to do those, uh, those prayers, we may not have a chance to get more tools so that we can get closer to God and build up our better relationship with God. As it is say in here, much will be required of a person in us with much, and still more will be demanded of the person instructed with more.
Please stand. Trusting in God's merciful and abundant love, we bring our prayer and petitions to Him today. For Pope Francis and all bishops, may God grant them strength and courage as they continue preaching the truth of Jesus Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. For government officials across the world, may God's mercy be on them and those they serve. Let us pray to the Lord. For those burdened by the pressures of anxiety, may Jesus bless them with his peace. Let us pray to the Lord. For all those in this community struggling with their faith, may the Holy Spirit provide the wisdom and understanding necessary to find their way. Let us pray to the Lord. For all the recently diseased, may they rest in Jesus' arm for all of eternity. Let us pray to the Lord. And for all the petitions that we may silently keep in our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Merciful Father, we humbly pray that you grant our prayers and petition through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Bless are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruits of the earth and work of human hands will become for us a breath of life. Bless are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness who have received the wine we offer you. Fruits of the vine and work of human hands as will be become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect to your, for your gift, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mystery we serve, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Live up your heart. Like a thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and trust our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, the Word through whom you make all things, whom you send as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as, as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who come in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending out your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the shards and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the shards of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the breath of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have households worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, Timothy, Titan, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the precious apostle and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior command and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And through temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as well await the blessed hope at the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Plus are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Dear Jesus, Come into my heart and be with me today. The communion antiphon. Behold, the eyes of the Lord are on those who fear him, who hope in his merciful love to rescue their souls from death to keep them alive in famine.
Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age and prepare for the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snare of the devil. May God rebuke him with homely prayer, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, trust into hell Satan, and all the evil spirit who prowls about the world, seeking the roots of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Mass standard, let us go in peace. <laughs>